Hey guys, today let's take a look at this ancient carving in Angkor Wat Temple that changes everything we know about Angkor Wat. Here you can see a figure riding an elephant. But look, this elephant has four tusks. You can see two tusks on the left side and two tusks on the right. This is crazy because we don't have elephants with four tusks today, but four tusked elephants actually existed a long time ago. Experts say these four tusked elephants became extinct about two million years ago. And archaeologists say that Angkor Wat was built just 900 years ago. If both these are true, how could the sculptors living 900 years ago carve an animal that vanished 2 million years ago? Think about it. If you're a sculptor carving this scene, you would have observed the animal with your own eyes before starting to carve. This is the standard procedure even today. So you can create an accurate carving of its size and the corresponding size of human writing it and all its features. But how did the sculptor who lived 900 years ago see and observe an animal that became extinct two million years before he lived. Some people who believe in strict models of evolution will obviously be flustered by this carving and dismiss it as mere imagination or a mere exaggeration by the sculptor. But believe it or not, a four-tusked elephant fossil has been found in the same ancient kingdom. In today's map, this fossil is found in Sulawesi of Indonesia. But during ancient times, this belonged to the same Hindu kingdom, which included Cambodia and Indonesia. This four-tusked elephant has been dated to two million years old which confirms two things. One, such a species actually existed in the same region where Angkor Wat Temple is located. Two, these bones are actually two million years old. And this is mind boggling because according to mainstream theory, humans did not even exist two million years ago. There were no Homo sapiens at that time. Only other apes with primitive brains existed. So why do we see a carving that shows humans and these prehistoric animals together? Is it possible that Angkor Wat was not built 900 years ago, but built much earlier in time? Before we go into that, let me show you another strange carving. This pillar is full of micro carvings of various animals. But here you can see this strange animal. We can clearly see that it does not resemble any animal that exists today. It has a flat snout, strong short legs, and a long pointed tail. This animal is almost identical to another extinct animal called Hyenodon. The Hyenodon not only had a flat snout and a long pointed tail, it even had stripes on its body. Look at the carving, even though the entire carving is only one inch long, the sculptor has put stripes on its body. There is no doubt that this is a hynodon. However, these animals also became extinct millions of years ago. Why do we find prehistoric animals carved in Angkor Wat? If historians are accurate, how could the sculptors who lived 900 years ago have accurately seen these animals which became extinct millions of years ago and carve them accurately with all their features? There are only two possibilities unless you believe that ancient Hindus were time travelers. The first option is these animals did not become extinct until 900 years ago and were roaming freely 
alongside human beings. Imagine four tusked elephants and hynodons. The largest ones were 10 feet long, roaming around 900 years ago. If you accept this option, we have to completely revamp the current theory of animal evolution because these animals became extinct and slightly different animals came and went and we have to change a huge chart called evolutionary tree. The second option is that these animals did become extinct millions of years ago, but human beings also existed millions of years ago. This means that human beings did not evolve from great apes a few hundred thousand years ago. And we can simply accept that we have not found the fossil remains of ancient human beings. This also changes the evolutionary tree, but it keeps everything else intact and changes only the tiny branch called humans. Did humans really evolve from great apes? How solid is this theory? According to mainstream scientists, Homo sapiens evolved from other species just 200,000 years ago. They have plenty of fossil records to support this theory. But if you ask the question, why couldn't Homo sapiens be living half a million years ago? One of the main reasons given is the lack of fossil evidence. Now ask yourself this important question. Does absence of evidence mean evidence of absence? And it's a good question to ask. Some argue that if human beings lived half a million years ago, then scientists should have found fossils pertaining to that same timeline. But the earth is so large that we could still find more evidences that human beings were prevalent more than 200,000 years ago. In fact, this theory that Homo sapiens are 200,000 years old has been proven wrong after recent findings. Now they've found fragments of human skull and bones in Morocco, and they've dated this to about 315,000 years, confirming that our species is a lot older than the initial estimate. What's more interesting, they found stone tools with these remains, confirming that humans were using tools even 315,000 years ago. So just like that, human existence on the planet gained 115,000 more years. That's more than 50% the initial estimate, okay? So it is better to keep an open mind that human beings are perhaps much older creatures. I mean, how do we know that we will not discover fossils of Homo sapiens that are half a million years old? The earth is so vast that we could find it in the future, and maybe human beings are much older creatures. And a similar problem is being faced by archaeologists and historians as well. They had always maintained that human beings only started building big stone structures and made carvings in the last 5,000 years. But recent dating in the ancient ruin of Gobekli Tipe in Turkey has shattered all these theories. They found amazing carvings and brilliant stone structures created 12,000 years ago. Archaeologists have sheepishly confirmed that these carvings you see are from 10,000 BC. So now historians and archaeologists have admitted that human beings were quite civilized even 12,000 years ago, doubling the initial estimate. Now, they've even accepted that human beings understood complex subjects like geometry 12,000 years ago. These new findings lead to a very important question. Is Angkor Wat Temple 
really 900 years old? Or was it built much earlier in time? Is it possible that Angkor Wat was actually built by a much superior civilization that existed many thousand years ago? This is not only on my mind, but many historians have wondered about this. Why? Because Angkor Wat is much, much larger than any other temples, while other Hindu temples in Cambodia are dedicated to Shiva. Angkor Wat is dedicated to Vishnu, while all other temples are built facing east. Angkor Wat is the only temple built facing west. If Angkor Wat was in fact built 900 years ago, why didn't the immediate generations build larger and grander structures? It's humanly impossible to build such a large temple within a span of just 37 years. More importantly, why do we see prehistoric extinct animals carved on the walls of the temple? Perhaps Angkor Wat was built much earlier in time by very advanced ancient builders. I have shown you my findings in Angkor Wat, but now it's your turn to tell me what's going on here. Did these animals roam our planet until 900 years ago? Did human beings exist 2 million years ago? Were the sculptors time travelers who could go to the past, observe the prehistoric animals, and come back and carve them? Were they spiritually gifted who could look into the past? No matter what your conclusion is, one thing is very clear. What we hear from historians and archaeologists is not the full picture. There are lots of missing pieces in this giant jigsaw puzzle called history. I hope you like this video. I am Praveen Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell button to get all the updates. Please give it a thumbs up and do share it with your friends. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.